y'all. It's Melissa Peoples, and I am bringing you Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, recently on my YouTube channel for Administrative Professionals, I posted a video talking a little bit about automation within Outlook, and I was asked to do a deep dive on that subject. So today is going to be the first session on that. So for me, I have a specific way that I like my calendar invites to look, and it's e it was just easy for me to create the template the way that I liked it and then save that as a default. So let me show you what mine looks like. If I go up here and click on New Meeting, this is the default page for my uh, calendar invites. And the reason I have it like this is because I think that for every meeting, invite that you send out. You need to have your meeting purpose clearly stated. Everyone understands what the meeting is about. Um, you can add in your meeting agenda. And then for me, I like to add the note about using Skype for business so everyone is clear. I also add the link here if I'm having an online meeting, then um, one of the boxes will have the link to the meeting and, and any other instructions. So it's a very easy way to do this and you can develop it. So let's just do a new one. Okay, so let's just show you how you can create a template that works for you and save it as your default. So just go up to the top and click on new meeting. Of course, mine is going to look like this because that's what I've set as the default. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then you can type in here any information that you want. One of the things that I like to say is if I, I prefer doing meetings via video, and so you can say, please Okay, so let's just say this is the default that I'd like to use for all of my meetings. What you do is go up to the Developer tab, and you want to click on Publish, and you want to say Publish Form, and then it's going to ask you which form would you like to use, and I'm just going to say Okay, so now that that's published, I'm going to go ahead and set that as my default. And the way that you do that is you click on calendar, you right click on it, and then go to properties. And then right here where it says when posting to this folder, use. So now I need to go pick what I'd like to use. And I'm going to use the example for a template. And I'm going to hit apply and OK. So now that that's been changed, when I go open a new meeting invite, this is what is the, the new template is the one that I just created versus the one that had template or the table in it. So this is a great tool for you to use so that you can format your defaults the way that you like them so that you're not constantly recreating it. So I hope this is helpful. If you guys have any questions, please, as always, reach out to me and let me know.